Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking metals and gold down again. Recall back on September 8th, we were talking about gold north of 12 or 1360. We got down close to 1308 today. So about, you know, a little over 50 bucks lower in, in just over a week. And, and the market, this is really went up so fast and came down so fast that we really had very little time to establish any real support or resistance levels. And 1305 was sort of our level below 1325, which we went through pretty quickly. So right now we're just kind of in that wait and see uh, FOMC Fed mode. And uh, I, I think that anything, any more selling we see are just going to be angry longs that are getting out that are that waited a little too long, obviously, and we're waiting for some kind of uptick. So gold down pressure, it's all about pre-FOMC. And if you look at the dollar, what it's doing, the dollar seeing just a slight uptick. Uh, you know, dollar still down 11% year to date. Any modest uptick we're seeing is, again, it's a pre-FOMC trade, whether you're seeing those dollars get bought back or whether it's a trade from, from another uh, FX desk. It just, it feels to me like everything we're seeing in gold and in the, and in the dollar are sort of pre-FOMC trades. So I wouldn't read too much into them until after the meeting. And, and what's going to happen with the meeting and how is it going to affect gold? Well, this is about forward guidance because when you talk about what the Fed's purposes are at this SEP FOMC, we're going to hear about the balance sheet and we're going to talk about forward guidance and we're going to talk about probably where they see the rates going by the end of the year. And that's really going to be the key, the forward guidance. Is the economy picking up? Will they see inflationary pressures start to build or at least uh, get off the ground? And ultimately, where will growth be? And I think that right now gold is waiting for some kind of glass half full message. We're still up close to 13% year to date in gold. So it's not like gold is giving it all back just the, because of the fact that we may have a hawkish message coming from the Fed. Likewise, the message is going to be blurred because it's going to be about balance sheet and, and the withdrawal of all the coupons and how they're going to re, not reinvest them or how they're going to let them roll off the balance sheet. So this is not really about a rate setting uh, meeting that, we're, that we have coming up this week. This is going to be about the balance sheet and some forward guidance. And when is that next rate hike coming? Well, the market was telling you not too long ago it was less than 20% chance that the Fed was going to be raising rates by the end of the year. We're back north of 50%. And while it still isn't a slam dunk, it's a big shift, one of the bigger ones we've seen in quite a while. So I think right now the market's gearing up for a, a 25 basis point rate hike in December. It's going to talk about balance sheet withdrawal in September. And where gold comes in is going to be about inflation and growth. And can we see both of those, something we haven't seen in a long time, uh, for any sustainable period. So right now gold in a bearish sort of short term bearish phase. However, it's all about FOMC. This has been Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.